Hello, my friends. Fred and I are back with yet another book. I'm gonna have to count and see how many books we've read together. Yeah. We don't have very much longer, just next week, and we'll be done. Um, so I have a very special surprise for you today and a very special book uh, to read to you. It is called An Egg is Quiet. And so when I usually talk about um, life cycles in the springtime, in this, um, we talk about chicken life cycle. And I told you I got chickens. And so I have a surprise to show you. Uh, so this one is one that I usually read when we talk about eggs, things that come out of eggs, things that hatch out of eggs, things that lay eggs, animals that do. All right, so this book is all about eggs. And it's very informative. And it has a lot to read, and it says, stick with me, okay? It's called An Egg is Quiet. And we're not going to sing our song because there's a lot of information in here that I want to read to you, okay? It is written by Diana Aston and Sylvia Long. And um, I really like this book because it has beautiful illustrations and um, beautiful, beautiful, and just absolutely beautiful um, illustrations. And it tells you what all the um, eggs and plants in here and stuff like that are. So we're going to read all of that, all right? So on the front, it has, this is a green lace wig. This is a passion vine butterfly egg right there. Um, this is a green vegetable bug egg. This is a black necked stilt egg. And then we have a Harley Quinn bug eggs right there. So there's a lot of information in here. And on the back, let's talk about the back ones. So we have a paradise crow, a yellow hammer, a black naped oriole, a scarlet tanger, a katy did, Atlantic salmon, so fish, salmon egg, Brown winged jacana, leopard frog, um, common murray. Hope I'm saying these right. And a paradise paradise rifle bird. I'm hoping I'm gonna say all this stuff right. Okay, guys, bear with me. And so on these extra pages in the book, it has different eggs and the names of them. Can you guess what this giant one is? So this is a really big egg. Can you guess what that one is? That's an emperor penguin egg. That one right there. So that's how I'm hoping that I'm thinking that's how big they are in real life. I'm thinking that the size of the eggs in here, if I remember them right, we'll we'll find out when we get into it. The size of the illustration is how big the egg actually is. So that is how big a emperor penguin egg is. And so let's see if there's another one on here that you could relate it to. Hmm. There's a turkey egg, <laughs> and uh, my friend does have a, a turkey egg, and it's a little bit bigger, but there's so many different types of turkeys, so you never know. All right, an egg is quiet. An egg is quiet. It sits there under its mother's feathers on top of its father's feet, buried beneath the sand, warm and cozy. There's a bird, there's a hummingbird. That is a Han Anna's hummingbird. Then we have an emperor penguin. Remember we said the eggs sit on their daddy's feet. So this is a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. So turtles bury their eggs in the sand. An egg is colorful. Did you know eggs come in different colors, not just white? Look, they come in brown, blue, green, tan, um, pink, red, yellow, speckled, spotted. And so on here, it has all the names of these different eggs. I'm not going to read them all. I'm going to read you a few, okay? Um, let's see, something that you would know. 
Um, this is a lobster egg, and under it, it says it's larger than actual size. So, a lobster's egg is actually smaller than this. Um, but they make it bigger so you can see it. Let's see. There's a salmon egg, and that's how big a salmon egg actually is. This is a crab egg. This is a field cricket egg. Hmm. Did not know cricket eggs look like that. This is a American robin egg. So we say robin eggs are blue. So that's that one. It's very pretty. This is a blue jay. So those blue birds that you might see. Yeah. An egg is shapely. There are round eggs. There are oval eggs. There are pointy eggs, there are tubular eggs. And so under each of these eggs, it has what it is and a little description about it, okay? So this is a Camp's Ridley sea turtle egg. Sea turtles dig a hole in the sand with their flippers and lay up to 200 soft eggs, soft round eggs. Round eggs fit together nicely in tight spaces. All right, and then this is a ladybird beetle egg it's larger than actual size so it's not really that that big um when ladybugs hatch as larvae their first meal is often the egg that they crawl out of so that's a ladybug egg it's bigger than normal ladybug's not really that big all right and this is a common murray seabird eggs are pointy at one end so if they're laid on a rock they won't roll around <laughs> that's smart and this is a dogfish. I don't know what a dogfish looks like. Um, while mo Oh, it's a shark. While most sharks give birth to live young, some sharks, like the lesser spotted dogfish, begin life in a length, leathery egg case with tendrils. The tendrils anchor the eggs to seaweed so that they won't be swept away by the ocean current. If you walk around the beach, sometimes you can find something similar to this. It's a shark. Egg. An egg is clever. Clever means smart. The markings on some eggs help them blend with their surroundings. This is called camouflage. So they blend in camo. Camouflage is an egg's way of hiding. An egg might be speckled to resemble the rocks around it, or it might be gray, the color of the mud by a lake. An egg does not want to be eaten by a raccoon or a snake or a fox or an insect. And so in here, there's an egg hidden. I'm going to give you a chance to try to find it first, and then I will show you where it is at. So where do you think the egg is? All right, I'm going to tell you, that's the egg right. It is a sooty turn egg and it's hidden along the rocks. Eggs come in different sizes. Look at that giant egg. An ostrich egg can weigh as much as eight pounds. It is so big and so round, it takes two hands to hold one egg. So that's an ostrich egg. Hummingbird eggs are the size of a jelly. It would take about 2,000 hummingbird eggs to equal the size of one ostrich egg. So in that little nest, this is actual size, y'all, of a hummingbird egg. I love hummingbirds. An egg is artistic. Look at all the designs on those eggs. So this one has swirls. It's a paradise crow. And then we have a yellow hammer. Red winged blackbird, a scarlet tanger, bronze wings jacana, uh, green lace wings. So these are eggs. I thought I was talking about the <laughs> eggs. Arctic tern, paradise rifle bird, evening grosbeak, grosbeak, a sooty tern, harley quinn bug. All eggs on this page are larger than actual size so that you can see their patterns. An egg is textured. Did you know an egg could be textured? 
these are hard eggs. There are hard eggs, soft eggs, and gooey eggs. There are smooth eggs and rough eggs. Bird eggs are hard. So if you find an egg and it's hard, you know it's a bird. Reptile eggs are soft and rubbery. So if it's kind of soft, it might be a reptile, which is like a snake and a turtle. Um, amphibian eggs are gooey. Yeah. The goo keeps them from drying out. Most bird eggs are smooth. The eggs of cassowaries, emus, and cormorants are rough. So I have an emu egg somewhere at my mom and daddy's house. I'm going to have to see if I can post a picture of it. It's big. Um, it's big. It's not as big as an ostrich egg, but it's big. And it's green. And texture's rough. An egg might even be fossilized. Fossilized is like, uh, it comes becomes hardened and it, has, it takes years to do it. And like um, dinosaur eggs that we find are like dinosaur bones. Those are fossilized eggs and bones. So this is what this is. The remains of creatures that died millions of years ago may become rock hard or fossilized. Scientists have unearthed fossilized dinosaur eggs all around the world. Some are round and some are oblong. Some are small at some are as small as one inch across and some are as large as 20 inches. Scientists believe all dinosaurs hatched from eggs. So this is a picture of a fossilized dinosaur egg. An egg is giving. And so this is the life cycle of a chicken. So we start out as or these are life cycle of a chicken. So this is what an egg, inside of an egg looks like at three weeks, three days, seven days, 13 days, 18 days, and tw at 21 days it hatches. All right, and this is a salmon, I think. Yeah. So two weeks, five weeks, eight weeks, 11 weeks, and full grown. And this one down here is a grasshopper. So two days, five days, seven days, 15 days. A grasshopper embryo rests inside the egg until the weather is just right for it to hatch. All right, an egg gives the little creature growing inside it everything it needs. The shell is its home. The yolk is its food. The egg white or albumin is a pillow. The shell is covered with teeny tiny holes which allow air to enter. So here's a big picture of an egg. And then this is the embryo. So this is the little chick growing. This is the yolk. That's its food. So this is the egg white. That's a pillow. Uh, or the albumin. Uh, let's see, this is a protein cord. I don't know what it does. It didn't say. This is an air sac. So if you boil an egg and then you um, shell it, there's a little part that had no egg in it. That's the air sac. Air sac. And then the shell. An egg is quiet. Then, suddenly, an egg is noise. So an egg is quiet until it hatches. And that's what you'll hear. Crunch. Crunch. <laughs> and so here are all the birds and animals that laid these eggs at the beginning. And so then there's all the animals that laid those eggs. I think that's really cool that they put those in here so you can see it. All right. So, two my surprise I have for you. So, I told you I have chickens, right? Well, guess what? One of my chickens, um, her name is Cher. And her um, husband or boyfriend, whatever you would call him, his name is Sonny. So, Sonny and Cher. Cher has laid me some eggs. So, she lays me an egg about every other day, every day. 
So, um, sometimes she'll skip a day. Sometimes she'll lay them every day. So, you never know with her. But she's my only one out of the three hens that I have. So, the three girls, she's the only one to lay me an egg. And she has laid me four eggs, y'all. Ooh, Miss Bonaparte, don't fall down. Don't be rolling around with the eggs. She's, she's, she's been taking care of my eggs for me. Um, Miss Bonaparte here. See her in here. So, I have four eggs from Cher, and I wanted to show you. So, what I do, so, so this is how big it is. So this is a chicken. Um, what you do is you write on there what kind of chicken it is, and I like to write who laid it so that I know. And so, I wanted to show you that even though these are all from Cher, all the same chicken. So, look at the two, two different sizes. Yeah, so this one's a little bit longer and pointier than this one. And so then we have another long and pointy one. And this one's a little shorter and a little skinny. Isn't that cool? I think it's really cool. And so these eggs are not eggs that you eat. These, um, hopefully, if um, we put them in an incubator or if we let Cher sit on them, They'll be little babies. But we want to get um, a few to put in the incubator or for her to sit on um, before we let her hatch. Because if you just let her hatch one, she won't lay any more eggs. So you got to get a few. My husband said he wants to try to get a dozen, so 12, um, before we try to hatch them. So I'm excited to get babies. <laughs> all right so i hope you enjoyed that book it's very informative very beautiful pictures um very beautiful illustrations so i will be see you tomorrow with another book tomorrow's book will be a little it'll be fun i think that this is fun to learn about the different kinds of eggs but it'll be really fun okay all right i love you bye